name is Madam Beatrice and I am taking you through grade 3 hygiene and nutrition uh, activities. Now, today's lesson we have strand which is personal hygiene, substrat, bed making. I know each one of you has a bed and for today we shall learn about materials used so materials today we learn about materials used as bedding remember we do not have the word beddings it is bedding bedding at home it is one bed so bedding at home in your home you sleep on a bed and on that bed you have is part of the furniture in your bedroom it is one of the things that you find in your bedroom there is a bed the bed is made by a carpenter a carpenter makes a bed most of them are made of wood but there are some beds that you find that are made of metals so your bed may be made of wood others may be made of metal so you don't sleep on your bed just the way you pick it from the carpenter so there are those materials that you place on it. And some of these materials are, one, they include, one, uh, there is a mattress. You place a mattress on your bed. Then there is the mattress cover. Some of our mattresses have mattress cover. This one is a piece of cloth that is used to cover the mattress to prevent it from dust. From the mattress cover, we have, this one should have the C, mattress cover. Let us rub that and we write mattress cover the correct way. Remember spelling that it is a masculine the correct spelling. So, mattress cover. Some of the beds because there are those people who wet their beds some beds you might find they put Macintosh a Macintosh is a kind of a cover that is used Macintosh a Macintosh is a kind of a cover like a mattress cover that we used to cover the mattress in case your bed wetting or something wet spills on your bed it does not wet your mattress because it's made of plastic you can easily wipe it you can easily wipe the liquid any liquid including urine so we have the mattress cover from the mattress cover you have the bed sheets you can see that I'm writing these words in small letters because they are not proper nouns these ones are common nouns they are names of things but they are not proper nouns. We have the bed sheets. From the bed sheets, some of our beds will have pillow. There will be a pillow. Then pillow, we also have some people have the duvet. We spell duvet, but it's, we pronounce duvet. We pronounce duvet. We have the duvet. And there are those people, I'll just write it here, your pillow must also have a pillowcase. Now, these beddings, they have, they help us to be comfortable. The bedding materials keeps us warm and helps us to be comfortable when sleeping on our beds or in our beds. Because if you slept on a bed just like that, without this bedding, you will be sleeping on wood and that will be very uncomfortable. Now, these bedding materials, they have their uses. We have the uses of these bedding materials. One, we have a mattress and this mattress helps us to be, our body to be comfortable. It supports your body. The mattress supports your body when you are sleeping. That's where you sleep on and it helps you to keep warm and to sleep well. A blanket is a piece of woven cloth. Uh, we don't have a blanket here. That one we forgot. We have the egg one. 
which is a blanket. Blanket. So this blanket, you use it to cover yourself. Uh, it keeps you warm. We use it to cover ourselves. Then the pillowcase, the, the, the marking toss, as I said, it's used for those people, mostly those who wet their beds. Some of the hospital beds, you find that all, almost all the hospital beds, they are, they are, the mattress is covered using a marking toss because sick people can easily wet their beds because they are not feeling well, they are sick. Some may not even be able to take themselves to the washrooms. And the more reason now they will have to cover their mattress using a marking tools to prevent the mattress from getting wet in case somebody wets the bed. Now, we have a bed cover or a duvet. That's another one that we didn't try. You can have our number nine. Another bedding material here is a bed cover. So you can't use a bed cover and at the same time you have a duvet so you will some people have duvet and another person may have a bed cover now the work of the bed cover is so is we use it for covering ourselves it's a very heavy material we use it for covering ourselves and also it prevents the bed from getting dust um, from the mattress cover, then we have a pillow. The pillow, I know most of you or all of you have pillows, you use them at home. We use them to raise ourselves upright on the bed while on the bed or sleeping on the bed it will support your head. That's a pillow. Now and then, then we have the last but not least, the bed sheets. Now they are placed on the mattress or where you have now you first use the mattress then you have the mattress cover or the marking toes and then you use the bed sheet to cover the bed still to keep yourself warm so these are the materials that we use as bedding that's the end of the lesson about materials used as bedding at home